folks. I am just down on a local lake. Got to try and catch a tench on the float. I've been having a right old pickle trying to get the remote to work. So I've given up on that. Goodness knows how long ago it was I last used this rod and rig. But it's all set up, ready to go. Even the hook seems sharp. Even the depth seems about right. So. Just gonna flick this out. Chucked a few pellets and things out there already. It's not very easy to cast here. There's bloody trees and sticks everywhere. Brilliant. Just wondering whether I can cast overhand. It's going to be risky. Yep. Okay. It's a little bit better. Yeah, just trying to. I've been down here baiting up a few swims. Uh, John Power was coming down to uh, have a crack at the, the tench in a few weeks' time. But I thought I might as well bring a rod. I might as well record a video. It's a bloody hassle. <laughs> I've forgotten how much of a hassle it is. Everything I've got is new. New camera, new tripod, so it's all like... Um, but... Once I figure this stuff out, this tech, I've got two remote control cameras. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I can actually be, a, be able to produce some videos that are actually worth watching. This little bit, this little swim here, I, I know from last year, can't see it at the moment, it's too, it's too murky. But I know from last year, there's, there's a sort of clear little clay bit I think I'm not quite close enough to it with my float I must be just on the edge of it really but who cares I've just chucked a little bit of pellet and a few grains of corn out there hopefully I'll catch one we'll see Quite a few tench, I think. They're either they're either mug mug tench and they're easy to catch, or there's a lot in here. And I've caught a variety of sizes from like little tiddlers, really, to some big ones. So There's a bit of fizzing going on over there, but I'm not so sure. It's just a bit of fluffy crud, I think. It's amazing, because I fished here last spring. And we're definitely a couple of weeks ahead of last year in terms of the leaves and the, the buds and everything. Interesting. <laughs> Not long ago, with my baiting pole, stuck a load of bait out in the next swim, and there's bubbles popping up all over it. I might have to move next door. 
That is very, very interesting indeed, actually. I'm a little bit paranoid my bait's come off. It's quite, it's quite nice. It's in a nice little spot though. I'm going to give it five minutes and then I'm going to reel it in. Yeah, that bottom shot is definitely on the bottom there. So it must, it must shelve down a little bit there. There's like a little humpy bit of clay. I was very surprised to find out there's bream in here as well. I caught one off this spot. <laughs> it might have been one of the first fish I caught out of here. I, I, what I was doing, I was fishing next door and I was threading my line and rig and everything through the tree and then just dumping it off kind of right under the branches, right on this little clay bit. Got a bite. I was like, oh. Oh, this doesn't feel like much. And it was this dirty, bloody, <laughs> dirty bream. I caught, a, I did catch a, a few, two or so, oh, no, I don't know how many I caught over here. About three, I think. I'm not going to admit to any more than that. Um, and, and lots of tench. going to shallow up just a little tiny tad because the, the less line I've got underneath the float the more e the easier is it, it will be to cast it It's in a nice little spot though. I'm going to give it five minutes and then I'm going to reel it in. Yeah, that bottom shot is definitely on the bottom there. So it must, it must shelve down a little bit there. There's like a little humpy bit of clay. Very surprised to find out there's bream in here as well. I caught one off this spot. <laughs> it might have been one of the first fish I caught out of here. I, I, what I was doing, I was fishing next door and I was threading my line and rig and everything through the tree and then just dumping it off kind of right under the branches, right on this little clay bit. Got a bite. I was like, oh. Oh, this doesn't feel like much. And it was this dirty, bloody, <laughs> dirty bream. I caught, a, I did catch a, a few, two or so, oh, no, I don't know how many I caught over here. About three, I think. I'm not going to admit to any more than that. Um, and, and lots of tench. Beginning to wish I'd bought some worms. You can't beat worms, the tench. Yeah. I'm just going to shallow up just a little tiny tad. The, the less line I've got underneath the float, the 
the more e the easier is it it will be to cast it. Corn must be about a size 10 hook. Let's have another go. Whoa, that's a big isn't it? Very happy with that cast. That's all right. That. That's about as close to the tree as you could get without going in there. Yeah. So now my, that that bottom shot is dotted down. And I'm hoping that float will just drift. I bet it's got to be, you see, it's either on or just off the bottom and that's fine. In actual fact, if you, if you tench fish in and you, you can get away with it, like if you're using a pole, fishing dead depth or even an inch off is really good because your bite indication is, you know, instant. Um, all this sort of fishing six inches over depth and all that kind of nonsense. This might have been all right for Mr. Crabtree, but in reality, it's not really what you want to do. Another magpie. Very few fish left in here. I came down here with my old mate, Sean, 20, uh, 25 years ago and different club had the water and it was solid it, it was there was loads of carp in here um, I mean, we saw sort of 40, 50, 60, I don't know, just up on the top, sort of cruising around. Um, so there must have been a 100 fish or more in here. Like, there was a lot of them. And over the years, they've just been nicked and eaten. And now... I reckon there's sort of, tw I don't know, maybe 12 proper ones and then there's, there's some smaller ones in here. I've seen a couple, whether they've bred or whether people have caught them and chucked them in here. I don't know, but but then the fish in here, the, the carp in here are the ones that got away. <laughs> They are the craftiest buggers left. There's a couple of ghosties in here. And I saw them the first... I popped down here to have a look last year. And I saw both of them. And I ain't seen them since. And I think they're, they're almost part of folklore. I don't think they're catchable. I say there's nothing like it, but there is. There are rare fishing places that just do something on to you on a deeper level, you know? 
I'd fish here if there was nothing in here, I reckon. And it's the same with the Thames, it's, 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 it's got mystique, it's beautiful. And there's something else. Yeah, well, what I'm going to hook up with a few people as well this year. I, I, um, I always have done, I've always met up with people and gone fishing, but most of the time I haven't filmed it. I don't know why. I always, I always had kept the filming to be my thing I did on my own. And um, I think I might change that and, and start to film my fishing with other others. I know why I don't do it when I go fishing with others because I'm quite a competitive sort of person and I want to catch more than they do. Uh, so if I'm faffing about with the camera, I'm putting myself at a disadvantage. I've never told anybody that, so keep that a secret. You know, so if, if you do fancy going fishing with me, that, befriend me on social media get to know me a little bit and offer me a, make me an offer I can't refuse an interesting venue that you you fish um, and ask me down you know if, if I'm if we're, if we're getting on on Facebook or whatever um, Give me a shout. I'm more than happy to meet up with people and fish. Come on, Tench. Surprised how light it's staying. It's. I was. I was. What? I was really rushing to. Oh, hello couple of the local yobs. Um, it's half past seven, so it's still light. Yeah, I was rushing to get me baiting pole and do my spots, so, so I thought, oh, I'm only going to get half an hour fishing before it gets dark. Um, but I've been prattling on for, <laughs> for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Well, it looks like I ain't gonna catch a tench. I've been Tom Winter fishing. Please subscribe if you're not already. Share it. Tell somebody else about it, whether you like them or not. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to call it a day, I'm going to call it a day. See you soon.